Um, we're going to get right to it. You know, we know why we're here. We know what's going on out outside in this world. Uh, we know that George Floyd was unjustly and brutally murdered at the hands of police in Minneapolis. The resulting, you know, demonstrations in cities around the world uh, have drawn, you know, nationwide attention. News organizations, politicians, everybody's, some people are on the right side of history, some people are on the wrong side of history. Uh, I know I've had a bunch of different feelings today before we even get to like our outline. Like how are how are you feeling, Josh? Like what kind of what kind of emotions are running through you as you just see like the constant news feed of things that are happening? Um, to be honest, man, I feel like I'm I'm living in a movie. Like what we're going through right now is um so real so it's it's so live it's so real time right now and um it's almost as i, I can't believe it like i drove by the mall today mm-hmm. boarded up yeah green acres mall boarded up are they afraid that people are gonna you know stick up vim <laughs> is that a thing <laughs> <laughs> that's that's another thing too <laughs> it's Green Acres Mall. It's Green Acres Mall. We don't yeah. go there. Let, like, that, let that alone. Yeah, voluntarily. But for the ta- most Target times. was boarded up, though. Target was boarded up. Michaels, all all of them were boarded up, and it's like we have a curfew eight o'clock, and it's like almost like we should be we're transitioning from this period of a pandemic, right? And now we're into this lockdown state. Yeah, we're locked down. Um, yeah. Listen, like throughout the day, you know, if anybody that follows me on social media, you guys know how I've felt throughout the day. I've been listening to Malcolm X, Fred Hampton, and Angela Davis speeches throughout the entire day. I've been listening to Donny Hathaway, Curtis Mayfield, and Public Enemy you, you as get, I've been driving. You've been getting in your bag. I've been getting in my bag heavily. And, I, you know, I just feel like you need to be on the right side of history. And I feel like if you stand in the middle of the street, you'll get hit by a car. Like, pick a side. Pick a sidewalk to be on. And and stand on that, and and I'm proud of the of the side that I that I choose to stand on every day. A- absolutely, and I think you gotta just you know just just blurt it out. You know, you know, black lives aren't as valuable as as the lives of a lot of other uh, groups in this country, and it's evident every single day. And the demonstrations and the protests are a straight result of that. A result of that realization. A lot of the treatment and the accountability. Um, for police officers who brutally murder, suffocate, shoot, beat black men and black women, the accountability isn't there. And there needs to be a reaction, and that reaction needs to be really loud. And if you have any friends who are afraid of that reaction, any family members who are afraid of that reaction, fuck them. Oh, Trevor's here today. I'm here to pot today. He's here today. He's yes, here today. indeed. This is a, a very important time. The line's drawn. Has right. to be, yeah, um, right. Lines drawn, and where you fall, like you said, where you fall on the side of history is really important. And um, you know, for me, I, I want to say, growing up in a Christian home, right? Like you, you're not taught at first to see color, right? You're made aware of color, and um. And just how real that is, how real race is, and how real racism is. But growing up as a Christian first, like, you never really pay attention to just, like, you're just really naive. You just think people are people, like, the the white people in my church are really nice, and they're not prejudiced, so this is how everybody is. And um, when you really see what's going on, police brutality, it's like, as people, we're just not doing things the right way. Mm -hmm. Like, as people, like, forget black, white whatever it's like people aren't treating people right right now no white people aren't treating black people right what no white people aren't treating white people aren't treating black people right at all yeah but it, it's it's baffling that how they're not at, at no point saying like no this is another person this is another life because that's that's the way the country's been the country is built on a foundation of free labor uh free black labor free african labor um so there's there's no compassion for us because there never has been uh and i and i think i grew up in church as well and i think the older i've gotten and the more that i've been in the world and and seen how things go and how i've been treated and how i've seen my brothers and sisters be treated i feel like i identify more as a black man than anything else 
I feel like I identify more as a black right. man before I identify as a Christian. Right. I feel like I identify as a black man more than I would identify like as a, you know, with whatever profession I have, you know, and, and I feel first, like, for sure. and I feel like it's something that I have to be aware of for my survival.